Good save made there by Kuhlman as they won the face off. At the point, for Phenomenal drive. Yeah! for the blue and white. Pat Park has started things off. Let's go to the press conference as it's about to begin. Well, as uh, Parky said, and as I always do, thank you for uh, dropping everything and responding to us on short notice. I know we always ask you people to do that, and I'm grateful when you do. Uh, tonight we're announcing, or this afternoon, we're announcing a change or two changes to our coaching staff. Uh, we are replacing Keith Acton and Tim Hunter as assistant coaches, and joining us will be Scott Gordon and Greg Cronin. Uh, as I watched our team play last year, and as I considered in the offseason, it became obvious to me that we needed a change. Uh, our special team's performance was the catalyst. I think that was the lightning rod for most of the criticism of the coaching staff. But there are other factors as well, and I believe with our existing staff, we got stale. And stale is a word that doesn't work in professional sports. I think I reached a conclusion that we need a new look. I reached a conclusion that we need a new approach. And I reached a conclusion that our players need to hear some new voices. Uh, I noticed that several NHL teams are taking this step. It seems to be the off-season of assistant coach shuffling. Uh, but this is something that we arrived at independently. And this is my push. I want everyone clear on this. This is not Ron Wilson's uh, First, uh, you know, this idea was first broached by me, and I told Ron I thought it was critical, and then Ron has reluctantly gone along with the concept of making a change and then enthusiastically embraced these two guys. I think that's important to note uh, because I think that, you know, it's, I do think we need a change, and I do think that uh, Ron's a loyal guy. It didn't come easy to him to make those changes with people that were his friends and colleagues and um, here we are today. There's no need to go into detail as to why these two. Uh, and we have not ruled out reassigning uh, both of these gentlemen within the organization. National Hockey League, I guess it's been just a little bit over a decade for you. It feels great. I mean, right out when I got off the plane and um, came into the hotel and you see Toronto and, you know, and the, the history Toronto's got with hockey and the Maple Leafs. For me as an American, it's almost like bizarre, like a dream come true. I mean, if someone was to ask me, what, where would you want to work if you went back to the NHL, I would say one of the original six teams. Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, Toronto is probably the poster child for those six teams. You can't uh, be surprised, given your experience with the under-18 team, we talked about it, and your years at Northeastern University with how well U.S. hockey talent has developed and now are becoming very prominent as far as the draft is concerned. We're going to see it come Friday night in St. Paul. You know, we started the program in 96. We started to put the blue, blueprint together. We weren't quite sure where it was going to lead. Uh, and, and I left after two years to go to the Islanders. And I, I, I kept watching the drafts the subsequent years and seeing more and more of the U.S. kids getting drafted early. And um, I think it's remarkable. We have a kid that we, my old team, Northeastern, has a player, Adam Reed, coming through the draft. He'll probably be a third-round pick. But it's funny because he's a really, really good hockey player, but he's kind of low on the food chain there because the, the better players that will go in the first couple rounds are the ones that are grabbing all the uh, spotlight. What's the relationship going to be like as far as the players are concerned with yourself? I know Ron's got to be the head coach. There's going to be some distance between him, but as far as the assistant coaches are concerned, what tack do you take uh, as far as your relationship with the players are concerned? It's going to be a goofy comment, but I enjoyed being an assistant more than I like being a head coach because an assistant, you're in the trenches working with the guys. I always find it really um, interesting how certain players respond to certain styles. And for me, the trigger to get a guy to develop is create that relationship where you can find out what the player's goals are, what he wants to accomplish, and how they're going to fit in with the team model. So I really think that's one of my strengths. I've always done that in whatever level of hockey I've coached, and I'm looking forward to doing it here with the Leafs. World Championships and your experience there. I know at the Memorial Cup I had a chance to talk with uh, Anaheim scouting staff, and they said you guys got a beauty in Jake Gardner in terms of being a world-class skater. Have you had much uh, I guess experience with a player like Jake as far as what he has done not necessarily at Wisconsin but perhaps at the world hockey level no because we didn't play him that often he didn't he only played in a couple games I think one was an exhibition game but you could see in practice that his uh, his skating is very visible and he's got confidence with the puck you know the fact that he played um, forward in high school is remarkable he's made a transition uh, to playing defense in college hockey I'll tell you what one thing for the Leafs fan is he is a great kid like he did 
He didn't play every game, but he showed up just like he was playing the game. His preparation was totally professional. His attitude was great. And, and, and usually if those, if you have those qualities, that's usually the fuel that allows you to progress as a hockey player. And I don't care what level. I think the Leaf, Leaf fans are going to be happy with him. And uh, I know that Ron's really happy with him as well. So we'll see where it takes him. He's got a bright future ahead of him. And uh, your enjoyment of working with a young hockey club because you've got one here, and that'll just carry over from your time over at Northeastern. And that's one of the reasons why I think uh, you know I chose to come here, and and Ron chose me was because of the op you know the, the opportunity here, and also my history mm -hmm. in coaching the Islanders. We went through a, you know a, a, a turnaround there with some young players, a guy like Jason Blake who spent some time here, and. Um, and, I, and I enjoy that. That's what the spirit of coaching is all about. Well, we love the accent. Uh, Scott's obviously lost his. We're glad you've got yours. <laughs> Thanks. And we might do some work on maybe changing that <laughs> as the season continues on. And uh, can you compare uh, the elation now of uh, where you are in your National Hockey League career compared to where it was a couple of years ago when uh, you were dismissed in New York and uh, under very difficult circumstances? That was a... Uh, Obviously, we, we had our struggles, but um, I'm, I'm thrilled just to be part of uh, this situation here. As I, I said earlier, uh, getting the opportunity to work with Ron, I've had, had that experience with the World Championships and the Olympics, and, and then obviously Brian Burke is, is somebody that, uh, uh, if you follow his career path and the success that he's had, uh, it's, it was something that, for me, it was an easy decision because I, I want to be about be a part of something that's as special as I think this is going to be. I talked with Brian about uh, the keys to a good working relationship with Ron Wilson. Uh, he's a grown-up man, 55 years of age, but I think deep down he's just a kid at heart, and uh, uh, I'm sure all of you guys enjoy that. Well, it's, it's a game, and you have to have fun. You know, there's a time and place that you got to work, but you got to make sure that... Uh, uh, if you're not going to have fun at it, it's going to be a miserable experience. And I think that's uh, one of the things that, uh, another thing that I appreciated with working with Ron is that we had fun, uh, but at the same time we were professional about it and, and ready to put our, our hard hats on and go to work when we had to. There seemed to be chemistry with that U.S. Olympic team, obviously, when you look at how far you went given the, the level of competition and, and what you came so close to achieving. Uh, coaching chemistry with yourself, with Ron, Peter Laviolette, John Tortorella, it obviously was there. Yeah, it was, and um, you know, it's it's a it's a short tournament, but uh, things came together quickly for us. And uh, you know, I think uh, myself, John, and, and Ron, we we all felt that uh, you know, being a, playing an aggressive style was important to, to being successful. And uh, you know, that's something that uh, we were all passionate about, and I think it, it helped our success. Oh, you mentioned passion. Your off-season homes in Atlanta. You coached on the island. We've been down there enough, and uh, there's limited media exposure, obviously, at Nassau County. What do you expect here, because you've been up here as a visiting head coach, in terms of the attention, which is really seven days a week, uh, right from the get-go come training camp? Well, I, I think you uh, answered the question right there. It is seven days a week, and, um, you know, that's, uh, you know, it's, it's obviously... Uh, speaks a, a lot about uh, how passionate the fans are here and uh, there's a need for it and uh, you know we, we certainly want to give our fans uh, a reason to be excited and uh, you know uh, I think with good cause uh, you know to be successful uh, you know you think about uh, just walking in I saw the last time they won the Stanley Cup here in 67 uh, the fans are pretty hungry to, to have a successful team and uh, you know you just imagine what it would be like uh, to, to have a Stanley Cup parade uh, just like Boston did a couple days ago. Yeah, they'll have a street named after you right away. That's uh, that's what would happen. Uh, is there a correlation to the young team you had on the island, to the young team you're going to help uh, Ron with here? Um, a little bit. I, I think there's a little bit more um, uh, free agency sprinkling in here with this. You know, some big name players of Fanouf and that. Um, you know, we we start from scratch. We basically, my my first year, we had a, an older veteran team and. Eventually, the, the players were traded or retired, and and uh, really went strictly with all the younger players, the draft picks, and and um, you know this year I think will be the year that uh, they'll probably be closer to what Toronto was two years ago as far as um, you know adding the free agents and, and having that ability to do that, and and they're going to be successful. There's a lot of good young talent there, and just like uh, our situation here, that. Uh, what the team did here in the second half of the year. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to carry over right into the start of next year. No, we're looking forward to it. Welcome back to Toronto. Welcome back to the National Hockey League. And uh, all the best come training camp mid-September. All right, thank you.